How's it going guys? So in today's video, I will be breaking down and grading the New York Yankees offseason. And as always, if you guys can, please like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get into the video. So the Yankees actually had a pretty solid offseason and they filled many different needs. Starting off on the pitching side, the Yankees helped to solidify a somewhat shaky rotation by trading for starting pitcher Jamison Tyone and signing starter Corey Kluber. So for Tyone, the Yankees traded four prospects who are all rated relatively highly, but three of them were blocked and this trade helped to ease a 40-man roster crunch. In Tyone, the Yankees are getting the former second overall pick in the 2010 draft who carries a career 3.67 earned run average throughout four seasons. Now, injuries aside, Tyone is a very solid starter and would fit in on almost any team's rotation as a number two or three guy. The concern with Tyone is his injuries. It seems as if every year he gets injuries and he has had that Tommy germ surgery twice now. Now, this is not to bash Tyone, but there are concerns about his injury past. And then Corey Kluber, the Yankees signed a former two-time Cy Young winner for only $11 million. While Kluber is 34 years old, he is still pretty young and probably has a few good seasons left in the tank. Unfortunately, Kluber does come with his concerns. He has not been healthy since 2018, when he had a 2.89 year ray, and he has only pitched in 8 games since then. Now, while Kluber's injuries are concerning, he had a workout for teams in February, and many evaluators said he looked very good. Obviously, the Yankees are convinced he will be healthy, as he did just make an $11 million investment in him. Now, these two moves the Yankees were, in my opinion, smart moves, as they needed rotation arms, and they got experienced veterans. And if Kluber and Tyone can perform as they have in their peak days, then the Yankees will be scary good. On the bullpen side, the Yankees only made two additions, but this is a stud team, so there are not many needs. In early February, they signed reliever Darren O'Day. In O'Day, the Yankees are getting a 38-year-old veteran, who throughout his whole career has produced solid relief. While he has been solid throughout his career, as evidenced by his career 2.51 earned run average, Last season was especially solid for O'Day with the Braves, who had a 1.10 earn run average, but in only 16 innings. And later in February, they signed reliever Justin Wilson. Like O'Day, Wilson is a solid veteran reliever who can help stabilize the Yankees' bullpen. Even better for the Yankees is that they stole Wilson in a bidding war with their rival, the New York Mets. And these two players will only cost the Yankees $3.6 million dollars. On the hitting side, the Yankees did not make many moves, but then again, they did not need to. Throughout the entire offseason, it was well known that the Yankees' one goal was to re-sign star second baseman DJ LeMahieu. And they did just that in January when they signed him to a six-year, $19 million contract. Now, this signing might be an absolute steal, as over the past two seasons with the Yankees, he's finished in the top four for MVP voting two times, won two silver sluggers, and has had a 336 batting average with 36 home runs. That was their marquee move of the offseason, but they also re-signed veteran Brett Gardner. Gardner has played his whole 13-year career with the Yankees and has compiled 43 wins above replacement. While he has lost a step or two throughout his career, he had a 108 OPS+, plus, meaning he was still above average last season. Also, during February, they signed sluggers Derek Dietrich and Jay Bruce to minor league deals. Both at times have shown a great pop, but they have also struggled with hitting for average, as both have failed to hit above the Mendoza line the past season. If the Yankees can help them fix their swing, then the Yankees will be extremely scary good. The Yankees had a pretty good offseason, but they did lose a few players. In their rotation, they lost Masahiro Tanaka and James Paxton. Losing Tanaka especially hurt, as he has been very solid throughout his Yankees tenure and had a 3.56 ERA last season. Luckily, the Yankees were able to replace them with Kluber and Tyone. They also lost pitchers Adam Adebito and J.A. Happ, but both were expendable and the Yankees have the depth to replace them. Overall, I think this was a very good offseason by the Yankees, as they did just what they were supposed to do by re-signing LeMahieu and getting the starters in Kluber and Tyone. With the Rays and Blue Jays on the horizon, the Yankees will be in a tough division race this season. Overall, I give their offseason a grade of B+, and that's just because they did not do a ton, but they did not need to, as they have a ton of really good depth. 
If you guys have enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe and tell me what you think of the Yankees offseason in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.